Hi, Brian Hawkins with HotBlogTips.com, and this is going to be a quick how-to tutorial on transferring your domain or your domains from GoDaddy to Namecheap, and I'm going to take you through those steps. There's a couple of things that you need to be aware of to make this the quickest and smoothest transition possible, and I'm going to walk you through those steps and get you through without a hitch. We'll be right back. Okay, transferring your domains from GoDaddy to Namecheap.com. The first thing we want to do, if we don't already have one, is set up an account with Namecheap. This is pretty simple. Go to Namecheap.com. And by the way, if you find this video helpful, if you wouldn't mind, use my affiliate link at hotblogtips.com forward slash Namecheap, and it'll take you right here to Namecheap.com, and I'll get credit for that. Simply to sign hit click sign up add a username password confirm your password first last names and your email address and you can leave that checked if you want to receive their newsletter or uncheck it if you don't and um, I I actually like their newsletter I it saved me a little bit of money they send discount codes and keep you up on everything but it's entirely up to you now once you have your account set up and you're going to receive an email so you need to confirm your email address before you can log in. The next step is to go and log into your GoDaddy account where you have your domains. I only have I think two domains left with GoDaddy but I'm going to go ahead and transfer them right now. And um, you want to go to your domain, manage your domains quick links there's several ways to get there but we want to go to the domain control center with your GoDaddy account okay now I have two domains or little niche domains here and um, to get might expire it doesn't matter if they're going to expire or not but you can uh, I'll explain that in a little while but you just click on each domain and the first thing we want to do here is turn this lock off see where it says lock on you want to manage and just turn that off click save and it says domain lock submitted your request has been submitted changes may take 15 minutes to take effect so then I'll go back to all domains again and I'll do the other one same thing lock is on, hit manage, turn that lock off. All this is doing is just, uh, it's a security measure to prevent um, somebody from being able to transfer your domain without your knowledge and we just turned that security feature off so that we are able to do it ourselves. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is while I'm on this here on, on this particular domain we want to email my code. So it's your authorization code and uh, that's what GoDaddy calls it. Um, it's actually an EPP code and um, it has various names, transfer keys and that type of thing depending on where you're transferring from but in this case it's an authorization code and for GoDaddy and I'll have them email that, that to me and you also want to make sure that you uh, have a current email address so let me do this with the next one definitely need to have an email address on file with them that is that is right so email my code and once you see this email address down here just be certain that's that's a good one if not you'll need to change that and that's all we need for GoDaddy for, uh, for the moment those two simple steps are going to trigger several emails the first of which is from GoDaddy um, just confirming your status change that you have unlocked your domain so that you're certain that or they are certain that that was from you and the next ones are going to be your authorization code or your authorization authorization info as uh, GoDaddy likes to call it in your emails why they change the name I have no idea but we'll take those authorization codes go back to name cheap and log in with the uh, with your password and everything after you've verified your email that we did earlier 
and click on transfer and if you just had one you didn't right here I have uh, two so I'll just go ahead and go with the bulk and all I'm going to do is enter those two domains along with the uh, the EPP code and start to transfer I separated by uh, commas and they're both on their own lines it was kind of running off because the uh, browser is a little small for this recording at the moment they're nine dollars and sixty nine cents and I'm gonna add each to the cart and view my cart now there here's a couple of a couple of points I want to make <clears throat> excuse me um, I normally uh, uncheck the enable auto renewal for these just so that I'm not surprised later on with um, auto renewals I like to track my own I, they do send emails to let you know that the expiration of those are coming coming due and I also put it on my calendar so I'm aware it's coming up but I prefer but it's entirely up to you the other thing that I want to point out is <clears throat> that you get these uh, free who is guard for the first year absolutely free and then after that it's two dollars and eighty eight cents now what that does is it hides your who is information so that other people cannot look and see who owns the particular domain in my case I'm not really trying to hide from that um, if you want to um, protect your privacy or if you're worried about spam go ahead and allow that and then as you renew next year it's going to be two dollars and eighty eight cents or whatever it happens to be next year um, personally I just go ahead and and remove those so I take that off because uh, like I said I don't personally need it we have a promo code here and you would use that space if you've received a promo code and again that's one of the uh, benefits of subscribing to their newsletter I actually have one I don't know that it's if it's too late in the year but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try it was New Year and since we're in the middle of February I doubt that it'll work but I'll give it a try whoops yep so that's that's not gonna work I didn't think it would but it was worth a try so I'm gonna go ahead and confirm my order for nineteen dollars and seventy four cents for those two domains there we go um, at this point all I need to do is pay you can use your credit card you can pay via PayPal and uh, I've used both options and they're pretty straightforward and simple and I'm sure you can get through that I don't want to have to do all the editing heightened uh, account numbers and passwords and all that so I'll go ahead and let that go and after your purchase receipt you're gonna receive an email for each domain to where you're gonna need to click a link to authorize it so this is says well it says it's from Namecheap but it's um, actually from Enom Incorporated which is a third party and we'll need to click that link on each one of these emails in this case two and we're gonna to have to approve this so it says namecheap.com and as I approve please renew transfer cales for pails and blah 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 you can read all that if you want but it's just important to accept that so that it can proceed and that's pretty much it we'll receive uh, probably one more email from GoDaddy um, to confirm that we've transferred our domain we'll receive in a day or two or maybe even today from Namecheap saying that uh, that the domain transfer was successful and in the meantime while I'm here in the uh, uh, dashboard of my Namecheap I can see that I have two under transfer requ uh, requests in progress and that's those two that I had just initiated so those are uh, and you know in transfer right now so once those are approved those will move up into my uh, registered domains and it's as simple as that so basically the the main things that we want to keep in mind are unlock your code unlock your domain through GoDaddy co and request your authorization code to be emailed and then take that authorization code to Namecheap 
when you're transferring it and the click the link within the email that you receive from Enum that it will save from Namecheap and also authorize that on the pop-up web page after that you're good to go it's as simple as that those are just a couple of points that you want to do to make this the fastest and uh, easiest uh, transfer you can with no hassle and I've never had a problem and I've hit I've owned hundreds of domains transferred them from registrar to registrar over the years and I've never had a problem as long as you follow those steps All right, thank you